Hi, I'm Doug Smith, doing another one of my experiments. This may be even simpler than the other ones, and I think you'll enjoy this one as well. Come on over. Um, I have three components to this experiment. One is a, a bag of coins, just plain money in a, in a Ziploc bag. And uh, there's our circuit board, as I've used before. I've got the scope probe shorted onto the circuit board, hooked to a oscilloscope. And I have a bag of the coins next to the radio. And uh, we'll, we'll turn this off a station here. And then notice when I jingle its coins, hear all those sparks that the radio is picking up. Watch what happens here. And then we'll, we'll come in for a second into a, to the uh, close up of the scope. But look at this when I jingle the coins near this uh, board and shorted probe. Uh, we're going to get a lot of response back here on the scope. So let me pause here and then we'll, we'll come in close on the scope. Okay, let's look at a close-up here. You may hear Australian cockatiels in the background here, so if you hear a little bird noise, that, that's them. So there's our shorted probe. I've used this before. The board is acting like an antenna, and the nature of the board isn't important. It's just acting like the ground plane of a board we might be using. And uh, it's uh, sending a current through that ground lead picked up by the ESD. It generates a voltage on the input of the probe, from the probe tip to the ground lead point. Also, the ground lead's forming a loop around the... Uh, 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 with the scope probe and that gives us a loop antenna and that contributes also to our to our output. So I'm going to take uh, maybe six inches away from the board and we're going to see what that results on the scope. This is a uh, this oscilloscope is uh, four giga samples, 500 megahertz. Nowhere is near enough bandwidth to properly display these signals that come out of these jingling coins which are on the order of uh, 20 gigahertz. But even so, let's watch what we see. Uh, I don't know if you saw that one there. I'm going to try and do just a few events here. But once in a while, ah, there we go, we're almost 4 volts full scale on the screen there. That's probably more like 30 volts if I had enough bandwidth. Uh, but even if you had 500 megahertz kind of response logic, uh, you would be picking up signals like this in the scope probe. And once in a while, I think we actually saw it went off the screen there. So, um, Hopefully I'm not jiggling this too much, uh, the, uh, the camera while I'm jiggling the, uh, there we go, there's some more of it, oh, there's one off the screen there. So, that's quite, quite a bit of uh, interference into the probe, and of course that has all kinds of effects on circuits. I call this my jingling change ESD experiment. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, you might give it a try. If you, if you uh, are involved in the design of a high-speed product that has response up into the gigahertz, this is uh, uh, a problem that could actually cause uh, equipment uh, malfunction, not just a measurement problem. Well, thanks for uh, listening and watching, and I uh, hope to see you in my next experiment. You can see demonstrations like this one in Doug's public classes at Oxford University, his private seminars at clients' companies, and at other venues. Doug's website is www.dsmith.org. That's www.dsmith.org. Hmm, if a little is good, more might be better. Hey, Debbie, could you get me a large gallon-sized plastic bag? And do you know where the big jar of change is?